Let's watch some nice matches of the round of 32 of the Nylon Clash vs. GP365 and Friends Tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. So I'm going to show you the matches played by Hitman365 vs. Kiko190, Kiko who was in GP365 club, by the way, <laughs> some months ago. And then he joined his friends in Nylon Clash. So, Hitman365 was using Heiser Big Forehand Victoria and Kiko190 was playing with uh, Volley. The Heiser of Big Forehand Weak Backhand of Hitman365 can have some difficulty versus a serve Volley player if he serves pretty well. Yeah, that looks like a home run there. But Hitman365 prefer to keep playing. He uh, probably estimated that uh, that was unintentional. According to the tournament rules, that home run could have made the Kiko 190 lose that match immediately. But uh, for the good spirit of the game, Hitman 365 preferred to keep playing. That's good. Big shots towards the corners. That can work well. So even if uh, Kiko 190 serve on the weak hand of uh, Hitman 365, well, Hitman 365 could manage to hit a kind of drop, soft, slow drop return. It is slow very simply because the backhand of Victoria of Hitman 365 is uh, pretty weak. So the first match is quite tight. No player is taking the lead easily. Kiko 190 was hitting some very accurate smashes. This forehand towards the backhand corner of uh, Leo worked pretty well, and a soft Costco shot by the end to end the match that worked pretty well. Same players, same builds for the second match. Very nice volley. Kiko 190 is of course right to hit the volley on the smash. On the weaker backhand of uh, Hitman 365, some players like it to wrong foot this Victoria by hitting on the uh, strong forehand side. But uh, well, Hitman 365 <laughs> is uh, waiting for that generally. Some very nice forehand passing shot there. And this big forehand shot that works really well. Same forehand shot. Why should we change something that works, right? Nice serve from Kiko190. That drop return was not so accurate. And a final passing shot down the line. Second match was definitely easier for Hitman365, who uh, kind of understands better the volley pattern in the uh, positioning of Kiko190. Sam Burns again for this third match. Very nice volley. Kiko190 starts to see 
that Hitman365 likes to hit on his backhand <laughs> corner. That's why Hitman365 starts to diversify the hitting pattern a bit uh, to hit the other side on Leo's forehand side. Too bad for Kiko 190. Hit that volley into the net. And that ball was a bit too long. Yeah, he anticipated very nicely there. It's the third match. So Kiko 190 starts to see the hitting pattern of uh, Hitman 365. Too bad that smash was a bit too long. This one was out too. Maybe that uh, Kiko 190 was losing a bit of uh, motivation after the two first defeats. He fought very well in the first match. Second match was a bit tougher for him. And this third match, well, he made some unforced errors. Well, Hitman 365 was qualified after those matches for the round of 16. Let's watch now some matches played by Osama M365 versus Bunter. Both were using a counter bunch uh, build, but Osama M was uh, using the anvil to have more stamina, as well as the Keto sourcing, so as to be able to play correctly with uh, the Punisher gut. While the Punter was using the uh, feather and increased hydration, so Punter had a, a better forehand start than Osama M, but a significantly lower stamina level that can harm him for the end of matches especially because uh, he's playing with the Punisher gut that has no stamina shield so Samayam is going uh, definitely to have an edge in terms of stamina by the end because he has a higher stamina stat So Osama M was mainly playing on uh, Wishing Wiper mode. And this critical ability was pretty helpful to outflank a punter. As you can see, the stamina level of Osama M is significantly higher now than Punter's. Yep. Big shots in one corner after the other. Two outflank. Let's watch now the second match between the same players, Osama M and Punter. So Osama M recorded a bit too late, so we didn't see the uh, pre-match screen. For this match, Punter used the Maestro Monty to have more stamina. That means that Osama M needs to end rallies pretty fast because even with a, a 55 stamina stat he will have a hard time versus an opponent using Mastro Monty which has a stamina shield in tier 2 those returns were a bit inaccurate So some I am try to use the same recipe to outflank Punter, but that's not as easy now that Punter is not using the Punisher gut. So fortunately for Osama uh, M, Punter hit some uh, balls a bit too long and into the alley.
this lack of precision and the very nice positioning of Osama M was enough for Osama M to uh, keep the lead he was just staying in this corner to wait for a bunt uh, shot very nice positioning so Osama M qualified for the round of 16 let's watch now a match between Nomad365 and RAD RAD was using Heiser big forehand style and Nomad365 the counter puncher style Nomad365 was using a tablet hence a slightly weird display of the match The other matches that you saw previously were played on full in portrait mode, so there was no problem of display. Already was hitting very hard, and the choker cards is not giving to this Florence the forehand counter ability. So it was not easy at all for Nomad 365 to control with precision the returns. Choker course is giving the advantage of uh, keeping the stamina at a decent level, but it can't do miracle. Doesn't give any precision to return the big forehand shots of Aredi. This one was huge. Out. So I really is now going to uh, decline in stamina. But unfortunately for Nomad 365 that will not be enough. No matter six five, we not have enough time to take advantage of the slightly higher stamina level. And that's mainly due to that problem. The slow serve of Florence following such a slow serve well. The Leo of Aridic can hit some big shots, so that one was not very accurate. But the serve is huge. And by the end, I already qualify for the round of 16. Well, I hope you enjoy watching those nice matches of the round of 32 in the Paris Open, a tournament between Nylon Slash and GP265 and Friends Clubs. In Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wild Life Studios. I'm going to publish all the nice matches of this round of 32 in a part 2 soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of this tournament. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye bye.